Welcome to Guns of Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at a budget option for some scope rings. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today I'm going to show you a budget option for scope rings. If you uh, follow my channel, as always, in, uh, there'll be an Amazon section below uh, in the pinned comments where you can go to our store. This item and other items are available in there. Doesn't cost you any extra, just uh, pays a little commission to us for promoting items. So if you've ever bought scope rings or looked at them, it's a little confusing at times because of sizing and heights and everything else. But the other thing you'll notice is there's such a wide variation of pricing. So you have the real cheap stuff, you know, twelve to eighteen dollars a set, twenty dollars a set, all the way up to two and three hundred, four hundred dollars a set. I've got a mix of both, and I've got some sets that I've paid you know a couple hundred dollars for for a set. I've got some that I've paid as little as seventeen dollars, which is what these are. And then you get into the real cheap ones like that are uh, for like a weaver rail that would put like a little 22 scope or something or like on an air rifle. Uh, but one of these things that they compare to, in my opinion, is I have what's called the Burris, I think it's the Burris Tactical Extreme or Extreme Tactical um, scope rings. And they're very similar to this. And to me, I don't see a lot of quality difference between the two. I'm 99% sure both products are made in China, so you go figure it out. Do you want to pay for the extra money or not? Uh, the good thing about Amazon, the reason I like using it, um, besides having a, been able to put store a store in there and be able to show you guys products, is if I don't like it, I can send it back. So I've had items that I didn't like, uh, that I didn't think was worthy of a review or didn't meet my standard as far as quality to present to you guys, so I sent it back. These I'm not going to send back. I'm actually going to use them. The fit and finish is very nice. The actual finish uh, is a nice matte looking color. It does come with your appropriate uh, tool you will need, a little star uh, type bit um, wrench that will tighten everything down. It has six total screws to lock everything down and then it fits a 1913 rail. They come in different heights. This is actually the highest one they make. The high, the uh, tall uh, is what this one is. It'll come in this cardboard box. Nothing too fancy. Uh, but again, guys, I was surprised when I got these. I was not expecting a whole lot for that $16.99, $17 price point. And comparing them to my Burris Extreme Tacticals that I paid like $50, $54 for the set, I don't really see a whole lot of difference, just being honest with you. If you want to spend the extra money, I get it. But, uh, you know, if you don't like them, you're, it's Amazon. Just send them back uh, or whatever. But I don't think you'll be disappointed in these if you're just looking for especially a budget option. You know, my precision rifle uh, that I am you know, want a little better quality stuff. So I'll put like a TPS ring, uh, Badger ordnance, something like that. But those are expensive. Those are a couple hundred bucks. And a lot of, not a, a lot of people is going to spend that kind of money on scope rings. So I did want to show you these guys. So I'm not going to go into a lot more more discussion about these scope rings just because they're scope rings and they're a good price point they get good reviews uh, currently on Amazon I'll go ahead and tell you this too currently on Amazon they are there's 56 reviews and most of them are five stars so uh, it's not a whole lot it's fairly new to market I think type company offering that um, is out there one thing I did notice, they have their little logo etched in there. I wasn't sure if that was a decal in the pictures, but that's actually etched in there. Kind of looking, it looks kind of cool that way with that on there. But uh, nice fit and finish, good quality. So the reason I bought it, I've done a review about this Penty uh, Optic here, and I wanted to use a single one. I've done that before. This is a 30 millimeter tube, 30 millimeter uh, scope ring, and I want to do away with this cantilever mount. And I may, I just kind of want to play around with that option. I like that look uh, on a uh, type of certain type of look, like a military style um, rifle. I did it on a uh, Mark 18 uh, build, uh, a clone type build. I did. Uh, I say clone is more of a homage to. I didn't do the exact uh, type build, but uh, you get the idea. So this one, I'm going to put on this rifle you see behind me and spoiler alert there's going to be some new videos uh, coming soon that I'm pretty excited about that I'm working on this little build that I thought was just a just a cool little build 
I had this rifle that I wasn't doing a whole lot with. This is actually my Colt 6920 that I was using at one time as a competition rifle and I stripped all that back out and put all the Colt parts back and so now uh, I've got, it's all got Colt parts other than the handguard I switched uh, but that's easy, that's easy to switch out. So like all internals, everything else is all Colt. But uh, anyway, nothing wrong with this Penty mount. I just kind of like this look of a single uh, thir uh, 30 millimeter um, scope two or scope uh, ring mount. I just think it kind of looks kind of classic and cool, uh, military style. So I'm gonna take this off real quick and see if it fits while I got everything on video here. If you hadn't checked out the Penty review, uh, be sure to check it out. On that Penty red dot. I've just been real happy with Penty products uh, for the value they bring. Uh, I was a primary arms guy for a long time with their red dots, and I still like their red dots. Uh, the problem is they're not, they're hardly ever in stock anymore, so that's frustrating. And uh, for you guys that follow the channel, you know the ones I did a review, the Penty ones I've done a review about. Uh, the guy over at 704 Tactical, he does a great content. If you're not a subscriber to him, be sure to check him out. He uh, he does a real good job, and he was uh, it was actually uh, Big Daddy Hoffman that. Uh, I first saw the Penty line of products, and they said they saw it at 704 Tactical. One thing led to another, so I went from his site to 704 Tactical, and then uh, wound up uh, ordering some myself to give them a try. So, all right, let's see how this works out. I think... Uh, see how this does here. So I'm not going to bore you with uh, tons of time mounting all this up. What I am going to do, though, is uh, just put two screws in to see how it mounts up on this rifle. And then I'll finish the rest of the uh, install off camera. But uh, just kind of want to show you guys. Let's take a look at what it looks like here and how it works. So let's take a look. I like putting it as far forward as I can, just like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool, guys. I like that. And I told you about flipping the caps down. That's why uh, you can flip them down just like that. And as they're kind of staying uh, out of the way, if you had them in the up position, they're much easier to get broken, I've noticed, I've found uh, over the years of used to having them in the up position. But anyway, guys, if you're looking for a budget option for scope rings, I think uh, these are here would suit you well. I uh, think they would do a good job for you. Appreciate you tuning in. If you got any experience with uh, uh, these line, like I said, they're fairly new, but if you do have experience with them, be sure to share that with us. That would be greatly appreciated. And as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe, bring another video shortly. Have a great day.